Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2024. It is a brand new episode of your favorite podcast, Growing Pains. Yeah. With Fizzle K. Fizzle. And your host, Ethan Bazinga. And me. Yeah, I'm well, I've already introduced you. Uh, yeah, how are you? I am um, unwell. You are unwell. The new year has not treated you very nicely. No, it hasn't. Mum and Dad gave me a cold over Christmas. Yeah, I feel like it cycled through your whole family. Yeah, but do you know what? It was intense. It was an intense It was pain. Olive. <laughs> I, <laughs> think, I think Olive's tired. Olive yeah. was the first with the sniffles and the flu. And then it sort of went to... Who did it go to next? I think my mum. Yeah. But my mum also works in a nursery, so yeah, she's true, with kids yeah. all the time, isn't she? So. Yeah. But yeah, Christmas, your mum and dad had it quite yeah. bad and they they made it through though. So I've got to give a... Yeah, they did. They did make it through. They, they trooped smashed it on. as well. Yeah, yeah. They, they trooped on and they put on a on a good a good shindig for, yeah. for being that ill. Yeah. Because um, I saw your mum on Boxing Day. She was not in a good place. No, she was like, On the sofa like... <sighs> I feel that. I feel that. Mine, yeah. mine has sent me sideways. Now you've got it? I, had, I do have it, yeah. Had a, a wavy new year. Yeah. yeah, we watched uh, Barbie. Yeah, we are parents. Yeah, we watched we, Barbie. We're parents. It's a good film, though. It was. Uh, do you know Ethan what? enjoyed we, the feminism. We'll speak about it in a little bit, but I actually I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, but yes, Christmas was lovely. Christmas was lovely. Olive had a great time. Olive did have a great time. Uh, but it's 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 the new year, isn't it's it? It's the new year, and it's raining. It's horror. It's so it's bad. It's horror. I went to the darts last night. Yeah. I drove home, and the weather, the weather... Uh, that's a Jesse Lingard reference for anyone that has, doesn't yeah, know. Yeah, I didn't know that. I, I, my brain's really like, it, yeah, okay. Pinging I'm just about right now. But anyway, I was driving home last night and I could not see the car in front of me. That's not It was safe. absolutely honking it down. Mm. Water spray everywhere. Mm. And you know what I want to do? Makes you feel like you want to go on holiday. Boom. Well, speaking of holidays, remember last week I was <laughs> talking about potentially learning a new language, seeing as I got a load of trips planned for this year, it'd be handy to learn a new language. Maybe the listeners are the same. Maybe they want to work in another country in 2024. They might have a trip planned or they might be thinking of travelling next year. Definitely, which is why we're happy to announce that this podcast is sponsored by Babbel. Babbel is your one-stop shop for languages, from the very basics to becoming fluent in other languages. Oh yeah, I've been having a look at the app and it's just so handy because who has the time to go to classes to learn a new language? It's so much easier to use the app for five minutes and do some learning that works around you. Smart, isn't it? Way easier to know some language basics. No one wants to get caught needing the toilet after a couple of drinks and not know how to ask in a another country. Well, don't worry because Babbel have got you sorted with their app and online service. Babbel can help you with everyday conversations, building up your vocabulary, practice for conversations and build your confidence speaking. It's like your personal language coach offering you in-app feedback and progress trackers. Right now, Babbel is offering Growing Pains listeners six months free with a six month subscription by using the code Pains. Go to babble.com slash play and use the promo code pains for your six months free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash play and use the promo code pains for your extra six months free. Babbel, language learning that works. But yes, we watched Barbie for our New Year's Eve party. We did. Yeah, so uh, Faith went to pre like an out of hours hospital thingy yep. to, to get your... Uh, illness checked out or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got swollen feet, swollen ankles. Bro, my feet really throat. hurt. Yeah. Oh but, God, my feet were so painful. But you went to like a, instead of just going to like a polyclinic or whatever it's called. No, I actually went to the hospital. Yeah. Um, But then they have like an out of hours GP bit in there. Yeah, so that's obviously where I was sent. The system was really good. The system was so quick. I was in and out within like two hours. Uh, bravo. Yeah. Bravo to the... Big up hospital. NHS, man. Yeah, got, big up NHS. I was like the only one in there. Yeah, that's sick though. Yeah, the only the only drama queen <laughs> that <laughs> it's day. It's me, Mick. <laughs> I was like, I'm dying. I'm he was drama. like, No, you're fine. <laughs> um, but yes, you come home. Well, you didn't actually come home. No, I stayed at my mum's house. Yeah, didn't I I was, me and Olive I battered down the hatches. Bro, and, uh, I was so ill, mm. so ill, and I was like, I just didn't want to give it to Olive because I was like, how painful my throat was. I was like, bro, she's not going to be able to breathe if she gets this. No. So I just, I was just staying at my mum's. Yeah. We uh, we battered down the hatches, and and Daddy did a good job. You did. We do played a good outside. Job. We 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 did loads of stuff, man. We was living living a vida loca. That's good. And then she, and then the next day, she resorted to whacking me with her new mobile phone. Yeah, she's sick of you. She's got a. Peppa Pig phone that you can like press a number and it'll dial like Ellie the elephant or something. Yeah. Bro just started whacking me on the shins with it, but like found it hilarious and was going <laughs> and whacking me. I said, no, can't do that. It's bad. I wasn't encouraging it, but I was more just filming it because I wanted to, I want to be able to show her 
her whack at me. Yeah. No, it was a funny video. It yeah. It was a funny video. Oh, we got brand new sofas. We've done it. Oh, holy smokes. We're all over the place. Well, yeah. Welcome to <laughs> a, a like family life update. Yeah. God. Uh, we've done it. Yeah. We've got new sofas in the kitchen. Yes, we do have those. Yeah. And they're yeah. good. They're big, good ones, Big yeah. up Calcheck. Calcheck. Something like that. Yeah. You, you said it was spelt like Suchek. <laughs> you, you thought yeah, it was Suchek. I thought it was like such ek like that but Ethan couch. I was like Ethan how would you pronounce this and he says couch it's a play on ek. like couch isn't it like couch, couch ek yeah. yeah yeah. so big up them big up them they sorted us out with the kitchen sofas yeah. nice little black number yeah 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 um, and then in the living room we got the same sofas that the old Sidemen house had yeah so you was watching the more Sidemen video on the TV or you wasn't I was watching it and then you went oh those sofas look nice and I said yeah you was like, yeah, they're great. And they're I was so like, comfy. But I was like, how great? Because yeah. this is important. This could be our safest. Yeah, so and you I messaged like, uh, Tanya. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said to you, I was like, would you be open to getting those again? You was like, yes, absolutely. I was like, we've, we've finally done it done after it. months. Hit the on the head. Yeah. Um, we got a different colour. Ours are on cream. Ours are like more grey. Yeah, they're like a platinum -y, yeah. silver grey. Um, but they are lovely. So I'm, nice. I'm a big fan of our living room setup now. And yeah. it, you, you, I could see the vision. The vision Thank was you. correct. Well done, Queen. You Thank popped you. off. I just wanted to open up the space a bit more because we've got mm. such a big living room, but it was so blocked off by yeah, them. Yeah, just the you. Yeah. But yeah. now you can walk in and out. We and sold around. one of the sofas. Yeah, we did. Uh, which is very funny because Faith doesn't know her left and rights. Oh, yeah. Uh, she advertised it on Facebook to her like friends or whatever. Mm -hmm. So one of your, is it your mum's friends or something? Someone that I used to be at another stables. Okay, yeah. So she replied saying, yeah, I love that sofa. Um, Faith was out. So, and sofas are heavy, by the way, especially like U-shaped sofas. Even like the pillows that you take off. Are and they're like, really are heavy. heavy, right? Yeah. So in preparation, I took the sofa apart <laughs> and everything. I then sent a picture to Faith and said, I've prepped it all. This is the sofa that's going nice. She went, no, it's the other one. Yeah, because that's the left. No. Listen, logically speaking, it, the, when you have L-shaped sofas, there's an F, a left and left L shape and a right L shape. No, there's just a normal L and way. there's a mirrored L. Yeah, and that's the right one. So the actual left L would have been the one on the I other can see side your of the point, room. That was my point. But on the post, Faith advertised. But they're talking about the left one on the picture. Yes. But so she said to me, I would have just gone the left L facing. The woman said, "I'll take the one on the left." Looking at the picture, the one on the left in the room. So I take I take apart the one in the left. I, I put it back together. <laughs> you didn't have the, to do that, though. Put all the pillows back on, take apart the right one, and just as I'm about to start loading that one into her van, she went, no, it's the other one. <laughs> I said, right. Let, I said, I'm sweating at this point. <laughs> I said, are you sure? Are you sure you're taking this sofa? Let me just double confirm with you. She said, yes, it's that one. I said, no problem. Great. <laughs> so then I took apart the other sofa again and helped her load that into the van. Yeah. Good yeah, she, she kept calling me muscles. Did she? Yeah. Oh, bless Because I was, I, was, I was putting on a show. How about? I, I wasn't naked or anything. I, I was just, I was fully clothed, but I was just... Get on that. Get on that. Yeah. Get, get on that. We can get onto that later on. Yeah. Um, new sofas. Love them. Big fan. Well done, Queen. The vision was right. Thank you. And we used the sofas to watch Barbie. We did. Because I promised you probably about two months ago now that I'd watch Barbie with you. Yeah, you said you'd go cinema and then that just never happened. Yeah, because it gets put on Sky Cinema like instantly. Yeah, and then yeah. we just never watched it. Yeah. But I think you only watched it with me because I was ill. You felt sorry for me. No, I didn't. I, we, we, we've got to do something on New Year's, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. We might as well spend time together. Yeah. And that finished at like half nine and then we went our separate Well, you, you needed to go to bed. Really. <laughs> I went to bed. Yeah, yeah. it was you that you was peppered. Yeah. I um, couldn't stop anymore. No, I like the film though. But the film was good. I actually, yeah, I'm going to get into a little bit. The horses, of, you like the horses? I like the horses. So one, they did a very good job with the humour. Yeah. Like there was certain little bits here and there that proper made me laugh. Yeah, when she, Margaret Robbie was like uh, crying, she was like, oh, I'm just ugly now. Yeah, and then yeah. there was that note to the producers. If you, if you wanted her to look ug ugly, then Margot Robbie yeah, was the wrong person to cast Wrong person. It was, she's like, yeah, I'm not naturally pretty or whatever. Yeah. And she's got no makeup on. Yeah, and she literally like, looks stunning. And then a little voiceover that comes in like, yeah, no, this is not the person to cast. Yeah, literally. That made me laugh. Um, but I like the uh, I like the stories of the film. I think there's underlying tones there that were actually very good. Feminism. Yeah, the, the feminism was good feminism, though. It was funny feminism. It was funny feminism, and it was also cute, wholesome feminism. Yeah, no, it was so a nice film. I got to big them up for that. And I also wanted to raise, uh, it was nice to see, so basically, what I think is, women should be able to Develop. feel... 
No, no, not even just that. <laughs> they should be able to feel like they feel in the film, right? Yeah. Like with like they just feel powerful. They want to do their own shit, whatever. I respect that. Uh, but what you can tell from the end of the film is, I think, that they portrayed really well is uh, men just want to be like seen. Mm -hmm. That's what I think is like a major thing for men. Men don't really care about the obviously power is a big thing in men's world. I think but, men, but in relationship, but in relationship power. terms, men just want to be seen and appreciated. That's like that makes them feel wholesome. Yeah, of course, I understand that in a relationship stance, but most men uh, as a whole. It's a power. If you're talking thing. about business, yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I think doggy that, dog world. Yeah, exactly. But even then, but you then can the get eye of the women film, like that. The eye of the film is n the men run it. Yeah, yeah. But he tries to. But then at the end, this is what I'm saying. When they get it back, his whole thing is like, as soon as she was like, she started saying, "You are you," blah blah, blah whatever. Men just like to be seen and yeah. appreciated rather than like. But remember, the roles were actually reversed, so that's actually the women. Yeah, true. Because yeah. the stance of the film is the women have the power, don't they? Um, so the roles are reversed. So it's actually the women, because he's there, Ken. God, you're going to have to watch this. Bloody you confused hell. it now. No, but you but know. But the way where you're I'm explaining it from. is is Howler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're, you've, you've done a Cadbury's twisted here. <laughs> yeah. So. Barbie, it's Barbie's world. Barbie world, yeah. Barbie We're talking world about Barbie world. In, in, the real, in real life is men. Yes? But in that film is women. everything. Let's just simplify. Everything in Barbie world is opposite. Is opposite. So the women hold the power. They hold the Supreme Court. They hold the everything. Yeah, exactly. They so own when, everything. So when you're talking about at the end, the men just want to be seen, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Like all heartfelt. Yeah. That is actually the women. Yeah. Because you guys have the power. So we just want to be seen. But you are seen in relationship terms and stuff. You're like adored instantly. Mm. That's the whole point where it's like women and pets from the minute they come out. Pets. <laughs> they are though. Like the minute a pet comes, a dog comes out, it's immediately loved. Yeah, because it's so cute. Men aren't immediately loved. And why is that even? No, but it's true. You've got to earn your worth as a man. You do have to earn your worth as a man. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Really? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Fair dude. There's some very cute people who would be immediately loved. <laughs> And some men with only a face a mother could love. It's just the way the world works. No, I'm not talking about like, as in like love as in the simplest term of like, oh, look, he's cute. I'm saying like, in a broader term of life, you have to earn your worth as a man. <sighs> you do have to do that. Because otherwise you get pushed to the wayside. You go around now, you go outside on the streets of London and, and go to a woman and say, your, your man, your potential future husband, how much do you want him to earn? How much do you want him to, what kind of lifestyle do you want for yeah, him? Yeah, but men are like but, that with women yeah, but, now. No, but, if you're, no, but for the, the history of time, especially it's worse now, you see it on TikTok where they're like, what do you want your man to earn a month? They're like fucking 10 grand. Oh, I see engagement which, ring which, ones. How yeah, much a man got to spend is, on a ring? Which is, again, yeah. such an alien mindset. So my point here is, men if you don't live up to this one percent standard you just get pushed to the wayside mm. so it, you as a man like you 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 could you could leave me here now and within an hour have a geezer yeah you are in, i would have to graft someone for fucking weeks i don't think so you've said it yourself got blue tick <laughs> Yeah, that yeah. Bro's so, just sliding in, so, in with his in social media card. terms that works, but I think it's a good debate anyway. Uh, yeah. I think I think I think yeah. You 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 could live a very. Uh, you're pretty. You have got pretty privilege. Thank you. So you could leave the room and go and and. Uh, I don't even think it's pretty privilege. I just think it's being a woman. Yeah, and but this men, is what I'm saying. It's a breeze. Men are weak. Yes, they are. They're stupid. <laughs> yes, that's what they are. They're dumb. Men are dumb. I'm dumb. <laughs> it's it's just hi. I'm a woman. I like yeah. you. But what my point was is, I think especially in today's age, if you don't even reach or, or if you're not even trying to be seen to be reaching something like a goal or whatever, you should get pushed to the wayside. Yeah, you say that, but then there's a lot of like pretty, very pretty girls that love like a bad man. Of course. But so that, that's again, been a stereotype for years. So not really a stereotype. But that, that, Not a stereotype, but that's been like a, a cliche for years. It's like, it's, uh, I think when women grow up, they realise... That's silly. Oh, yeah. Everyone starts there. Yeah, exactly. And then they move on. That's what I'm saying. But it's the toxic ones that stay in that cycle. Yeah. And they I don't think, know. Yeah. I feel like it is just about finding someone nice. You've got to live with them at the end of the day. You do have to live with them. Because people say, oh, you get with them for the money, you get with them for this, that and the other. Yeah. But there's only so far that will get you with you liking that person, like enjoying their company. You've got to enjoy their company to be able to live with them for ever. Yeah. I can't live with you forever just for your money. Do my head in. 
So it, it, was that was that like a backhanded compliment of like I actually like you yeah, lots? Of course, yeah. Thank you. That's really quite cute. <laughs> That's my way of saying I love you. Yeah, thank you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> See, guys, she does. She does. I promise. Um, well, that was good. Yeah, Barbie's got some very good underlying tones in it, and I, I for one, as a a traditional male, yeah, was a uh, was quite. I enjoyed it. Yeah. No, yeah, it was good. It softened me up. Yeah, cute. Yeah, nice. Uh, you did a stable date with Talia. That I recent. did. I did. Uh, that popped up. Do you know what I saw comments saying as well? I think because of TikTok, mm. people don't like you on TikTok. Yeah, they assume that. Let's because, start afresh, F one's twenty twenty four. Yeah, exactly. Let's start afresh. <laughs> Find an I do. I do agree that. Uh, <laughs> so because people, because people on TikTok don't like you, they assume that everyone else just don't like you. Yeah, I know. So I saw comments that were like, oh, it's actually really nice to see like you and Talia together. Bro, you talk to Talia all lots. All the time. I yeah, text lots. her all the time. Yeah. I text all the girls. Yeah, exactly. All lots. The girls. Lots. Yeah. So, I'm actually friendly. It's <laughs> very funny how the internet is. So KSI's got a... Uh, I don't know why I called him that. Yeah, I was literally just I thinking, I was like, bro, it's just, it's if you see my no, eyes, I was like... It's because he's got a community on Twitter called KSI Twitter, Bro's which is KSI. a, yeah. it's like a gated community. You have to get into it. Uh, I'm in it. But I've refreshed it one day and it just said, someone just put in there, feel like JJ don't like faith. <laughs> and I was like, how do you even come to this? <laughs> like, bro's just put in something and I'm happy someone quote retweeted it and was like, how does your brain even come up with this shit? What's led you to believe that? Yeah. Um, for one, right? JJ, when I, I sent pictures of your uh, Christmas decoration and stuff, he's lovely about you. Mm. He's like, oh, did Faith do all that? Oh, she's a keeper, bro. Yeah. Bro says like nice things. And then with the uh, Christmas song, he was the one that put in the chat, oh, this is hilarious. I'm going to get on board with it. That's when he tweeted me yeah. saying, answer your phone. Bro found... Your, your leader... Found it funny and, and got involved. We didn't ask him to yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. He was in the group chat going, this is hilarious. Yeah. So, KSI does like Faith. Thanks. Um, <laughs> and Talia likes Faith. Oh, wow. Loads of people like Faith. This is good. Let's start a pop hashtag, we like Faith. Yeah, oh God, that's going to go so bad. <laughs> but we do like Faith. Thank you. You are fun. Thanks. Uh, your stable I'd, date was good yeah, though. And yeah. Talia called me a mini dashend. Yeah, she did. Uh, but she, it was funny. She, she kept going like Doberman and I was like any other breed here yeah <laughs> which I was like oh what what breed is that Simon what breed is it she's like Doberman <laughs> who's this person I'm like oh they're like Doberman I was like Talia bless her she's Doberman's got miniature dashing Mushu and a Doberman <laughs> I don't know why she didn't say Josh was Mushu because uh, what, what what breed is that that they've got Chow 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 yeah so Mushu looks like Josh if you get a picture of Mushu's face yeah there, I see that actually bro Josh look uh, Josh was here first Mushu looks like Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you now, facially, it's the same person. Yeah, I see that. So I, I don't know that. why she didn't say that. Yeah. No, um, no, it was good. It was good fun. It was funny. I made her eat the um, pony nut, but mm. I've changed the pony nut since the last one. Okay. So they used to taste like digestive biscuits and it was actually all right. Oh, they a bit rank These up. ones were like, did you eat the pony nut too? Yeah, she made me. Oh, yeah, good. She didn't make me. But what she was know, like, uh, I think for the content, you should try one. And then at that point, who am I to say no? What do you know? It Shovel the Pooh was funny. Once in a shovel, the poo. Yeah, she got number one. Yeah. How freezy remains the worst. Well, I mean, she did look so gentle with it. Like, even I'm a bit rugged in there. I'm just fucking... Yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. Yeah, no, Cal Freezy's work work ethic in there was, was absolutely awful, outrageous. Yeah. So I would be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if he remained last So forever. she's the best. That's Talia was out. definitely the best. Chloe Burrows had a little bit of moaning. Yeah. You know, she went heart in it. But Talia tried. Who's next? <laughs> Oh, I think date. Freya. I think we're trying Freya to get Freya. And Freya's apparently highly Freya, requested. Apparently uh, Freya grew up around horses. Yeah, That's what she, I saw she, in the she's, comments. She's highly requested. All right, well, you've heard it here first, Freya. It's time to get your poo scooping gloves on. Yeah, there's and a couple people in it. I, I, after Freya, I'd like to try and get a boy on. A boy? Yeah. Are you going to go on another date with a boy, are you? Yeah, I'm Cool, like that's a slap on the wrist. <laughs> that, you naughty, naughty. Uh, funnily enough, the, the, the moaning has stopped. That the moaning stopped, that it's you. a woman. After, <gasps> after freezing, it's just been girls. I've not had no hate about the trend of the show, so it's odd. No, uh, well, big up, falls of the stable dates. Yeah. M yeah. More to come. Uh, you're actually like, you are a more consistent YouTuber than I am. I am, but I'm... If you exclude me from the side, I'm then... I'm also done with the hard work now. <laughs> That's not come across well at all. <laughs> Don't say that. Listen, 
Charlie Rocks, bless him. Charlie Rocks, yeah. He does my videos, but he's he's very great in small amounts. Uh, Charlie, I love you, but I have to spend so much time with you. Can you just... Oh. Is it overwhelming, is it? Sometimes it can be, yeah. And it's, no, um, not him. I said, oh. is it? Oh, not him. I just said, is it all? Is it all? Like, oh, yeah, over? no, it is. He is. Yeah. And he messages me all the time. Like, Faith, we need an idea. Oh, you've got a film. I need mm. a date. I've got 24 hours to turn something round. Do you have an inch of your heart that now sees what we do as the group as like a no I, I've known for, I've known stress. for a long time I've known for a long time that what you <laughs> do is stress, stress. Yeah. yeah of course and I, it's like I say it wasn't before I did the music it's not until you actually do it do something yeah yeah because I would have before getting with you or whatever or when I was first sussing you out and I watched a couple of your videos I was like oh so she's gonna play hide and seek that's fucking mm. easy like yeah. brilliant he's gone round hid round South End and sat in yeah. the tippy tower all day great it's not until nice. you actually do it yeah. it's mentally draining well, it's, it's, it's like if you're in a bad mood you still have to show up and do it it's so much fun i get to like you hours say, i get to go and have fun right but you're also thinking what's good for the video yeah do we need to have a moment here how's this going to be edited do we need to chop this out do you need to do this bit and then if it's your video if a location falls through like when i was doing the cheap versus most expensive flight we had the locations booked, then one flight fell through. So then we got got a private jet like two days before. This sounds such like such a privileged conversation. But <laughs> oh my like, God, my private but it's, jet. <laughs> it's one event. It's, it's logistically we've got the money to make whatever happen in a video. Yeah. Sidemen do. This is not me. I'm not bragging about money. Yeah. Um, Sidemen have got enough money to make whatever happened. But like two days beforehand, my whole plan fell through. Yeah. So then did. you panic and you're like, oh fuck! All right, do this, do that. It's just chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, you are a good YouTuber. I'll give you yeah. that. Yeah, but I do feel like this year I want to change it a little bit because where I work my filming dates around yours, yeah. I feel like this is the part that gets tricky because a lot of mine I'll film on a Saturday and then it has to be edited, turned around for that literally the next yeah, day yeah, yeah. so under 24 hours and I feel like those ones I just think oh for god's sake like stress yeah so I feel like this year I kind of want I don't know if it'll work because I don't know if anyone else does it but you know I've got my stable date series I want series instead of keep on having mm. to come up with videos obviously Smart I did the ice obviously I did the ice skating I've done like the cooking I feel like I want um, you should really just be smart with the stable date thing you should film like two or three in a day like you should book out one day, yeah. Because they're only—it's like an hour of filming each. Yeah, true. You should literally just say, "All right, I've got Theo in from eleven, mm. and then I've got Reeve, and then I've got I don't know, fuck knows, Proddy." True. Yeah. Like you, you, you and just do it, and then you've got three episodes now that you can spread out every other week. Mm. Uh, like, so, and then but just do that. Yeah, I usually do one a month. Do, or do like yeah, do like little cooking series. Yeah, well, do that's like what whatever. I was gonna do. Then I was gonna do like people have asked for things of what they're good at. So I was surprised that I could do yeah. the ice skating things. So a series where you find what you're good at, whatever, mm. and do that. So say like Luke Little, he's just doing the darts. Yeah, can yeah. I be a darts world champion? Yeah. That kind of. That's a good one. So right. then it's easy Luke, to pay. Luke, you yeah. heard it here first. I do actually want Luke on a stable date. I said that to you yesterday, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, it'd be funny. Can um, I go on a date for sixteen year old? Might no, have to change it to not. stable. Mate, uh, for well, one you, week. Well, you should you should do a video. Yeah. So down uh, Faith's shed in her garden, her, her dad's got like a proper dartboard set up. You should do it down there. Proper, it's proper ghetto shed. Like just be like, come down the shed, lad. Yeah, true. Get on this true, dartboard. True, oh. true. Yeah, that'd yeah. be funny. But yeah, anyway, and then just a whole series of like just being with the horses. Would you yeah. know we have one of them cameras that just follow you because it's nice and yeah. easy. Well, Olive's getting older now, which is ideal because you can, she can actually sort of behave a little bit. Mm. Like if, if she's watching the horses, no, just all right, stay out here, whatever. Yeah. She's getting a little bit older. Yeah. And yeah. plus, hopefully that keeps the cost down a tiny bit because wow, December with that music video, yeah, that was expensive. Lot. Costs a lot all to get 60k dislikes. Unlucky 40. sucker. 40. No, it's on 60k dislikes. But are we still watching it in January? Get a life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what killed me as well? People are like, oh, if you're going to make this one's drama about it, at least make it good. Mate, I did that. Mate. We wrote that song in two days, mate. My diss track was fucking shit. So, so we caused drama. Mine sat like spoken word shit. Like, yeah. Oh, free throw. <laughs> it's just shit. Um, anyway, moving on. You spoke about Luke the Nuke. Yeah. Uh, he is Luke the Luke. Luke the Nuke. Oh, okay. <laughs> he is absolutely battering people at darts. He is. The World Championships is on at Ali Pali. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been for what, like the last three years? Uh, you have, yes. Yeah, I've, been I've been selective. Yeah. Um, so like last three years in a row, um, my God, he just like, 
it's mental to watch. Yeah. Because like he just seems like well he has been doing it since he was about that big. Mm. But like the big stage is not getting to him. I do love the baby videos though. Yeah, the baby videos. Yeah, are they're sick. cool. But like what I'm saying is is like yesterday was it yesterday? No, the day before yesterday. No, it was yesterday. I'm getting all my days confused because I'm all over the gaff. I was there last night, basically. He was there last night. But he played in the afternoon yesterday. Mm -hmm. And he played a geezer called uh, Dolan. And he just battered him. Mm. Brushed him aside. He, j he just seems so natural. He's even given the crowd like a little bit of bosh, bosh. Oh, what should I do? Bosh. Yeah. He's loving it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I just feel like maybe he's young though, so it's like a different, yeah. maybe he's not pressured by it. It's a little bit Well, normal. he's in the semi-final now today. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And uh, if he gets past Rob Cross, holy shit, he could win it. Really? He could win it. I want him to. It would Absolute be mental. Scenes. Can't even go mental. out after, bless him. Well, we was House there. Party. Well, we was We was at the darts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and after his match, I got a tap on the shoulder from security guard and he goes, oh, Luke, Luke really wants to meet you. Yeah, he come up to me first. I thought I was in trouble because yeah. I, I was sitting down on my own because you guys were all yeah. around the uh, walkout bit and I was just like, mm. I was sitting down at that point. Um, he was like, are you, are you Bazinga's girlfriend? I was like... Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what have I done? I've, did, I've not done anything. Yeah. And then um, and he was like, oh. Like, and he started saying, oh, will you tell him when he comes over? I was yeah. like, I'll just go get him. Yeah. 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 And he was like, he tapped me on the shoulder and he was like, yeah, Luke, Luke uh, wants to meet you. Can he get a picture of you? I said, yeah, absolutely. He said he can't come out here because he just get, which is fair. Because mm. like, he, every, Sky Sports got him, like mainstream media got him. Like in a minute, he's the biggest thing in darts. Mm. Um, so... I had my paddy power pants on with my little, uh, the hat of fluff coming out like pubes. Yeah, pubes. And they took me through and the security guard was not happy. He went, he ain't coming through here like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I had to go <laughs> and dress myself. I was like, oh, it's a bit of fun though. Like, oh, it's a bit of a laugh, isn't it? It's the yeah. darts. Uh, anyway, yeah, took me downstairs. Uh, spoke to him for a little bit. I had a picture with him that apparently they showed on Sky Sports as well at one point. Um, but yeah, lovely guy. Yeah. And, and Forza the Littler. Hopefully, uh, Gets a win tonight. Bosh. Big up. Um, but yes, I played at Ali Pali. Yes, <laughs> that was my point. Last night, yeah. So last year, or was it the year before? I don't know. But last year I'd done a nine dart challenge against Russ Bray, who is the voice of darts. Mm. <laughs> uh, it's just mental, that voice. It's so good. He's retiring at the end of this tournament. Oh, is he? Yeah, so oh. there won't be any more. <laughs> he does this all the time at home, by the way. I do, yeah. So, that, uh, so you've got the one geezer that goes, what? <laughs> Yeah. You got him. And then you've got Russ. He goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so don't, don't be, don't be surprised love when I'm not laughing here but because he does this all the time at home. and for like the it. first three times I laugh but this is like the hundred and fiftieth time <laughs> literally in the car like, on the way here fucking Olive give me yeah. a side eye in the back seat um, but yeah I played on stage this time versus Elliot Hackney yeah. who actually works at the Fellas Studios and his even I've got to tell you a story right this geezer he, he practiced the night before in the pub. Oh, did he? Yeah. And then we get to the venue and he starts giving it the big and like, I'm from Stoke, so like it's in the DNA, do you know what I mean? And he's giving it the big, and then we meet John, who, who's like the presenter of uh, everything. And he, go, he, he just before going on stage, he's like, yeah, you're right, John, yeah, love it to me. Uh, I'm from Stoke as well. <laughs> I went, I went you, you don't know how small that board feels when you get up there. Yeah. Like, in a, like here, in a pub, whatever, you stand there, it's fine. When you're on a stage with a fucking backdrop that big and you know that there's God knows how many people behind you, it's like a movie. You know when they do like one of them zooms and it just gets smaller and smaller? Yeah. It seems miles away. I said, you what? You're going to chuck it in the one and shit your pants. What did he do? First dart, double one. <laughs> his first two darts, he scored five. Aye. And his, his fucking sphincter went... <laughs> uh, and then he got battered, yeah. So with my last three darts, all I had to do was score 10 and I stuck it in the 20, old that. Uh -huh. But this time... Last time I scored 76 against Russ. This time, I think I was on I was on 71, then I scored 45. So what's the maths? I don't know. 100 and... 120. Hun no, it's 150. Today. What's the maths? <laughs> 116. 116. So in, in nine darts, I scored 116, which is over... Uh, it's over 10 points of dart yeah okay. yeah I'll try we to should just that. stop trying to work things out I've anything noticed this the current theme yeah, anything with this, this podcast whenever we try and work something out we go what is it yeah. proddy um, <laughs> we'll apparently uh, what, what's weird right is last time I played Russ at it 
the comments were so overwhelmingly positive. They was like, oh, nice to see Bezier doing this, whatever. Class, uh, really enjoyed watching this, whatever. This time, <laughs> you know, like boxing. I see the comments, yeah. Yeah, you know, like boxing has like the Killing fucking dark, 80s lot, yeah, yeah. get them out, 80s lot. It seems like... The Brexit of boxing. It seems like darts now has the old guard too. Yeah. And uh, they was not happy that I got to play darts. No? Uh, no, not at all. Not what, at all. What was some of your favourite hate comments? Well, apparently Proddy's got some, but I can I can just load up the... Uh, this is a game I like to play. What's my favourite hate comment? <laughs> Bro, there, there was some... Twitter had some great ones, but Instagram's got some belters as well. Uh, I'm going to try and load up the things, but it is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the atmosphere good when you was playing? Bro, at one point, it doesn't come across well, but there's one bit where I go like that and I'm like, fucking come on, because there was one section over on the left that Elliot scored like 14 and then I stuck like 40 something odd on the board. I was going, come on. And they was going, yeah, but it just doesn't get picked up. I was going to say, Bro, it just doesn't get picked when up. I watched your video, you was doing that and it looked Bro, like no so one sad. did anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, there's a group on the left side. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, Bro, but I was like, no, I don't think no, anyone did anything. It was, it was, and again, it, they're a fun bunch. So they was giving it large. Even yeah. at the end when I was going, duh, 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 oh, 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 that's why I was on the left side of the stage because yeah. they was giving me a reaction. But it looks awful on yeah. the video. It's just silent of me going like this. It's so cringe. It's so cringe. Uh, right, here we go. I'm just going through all the things. Michael Van Gerwen, by the way, honked it. Bro was chucking up like fucking 70s. Bro had a howler. Bloody hell. You no, have I to can't. scroll for him. No, I was going to say, I'll have to do so no, no, up and read the first one. <laughs> no, don't worry. Um, Top comment. I'm just, just going to go to the ones on Instagram. Uh, the Instagram ones are funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so... Elliot, uh, he tried to get himself out of it. He, he commented. Can I read some? He, he put, who let me up? Yeah. Uh, go on and scroll through some of these. You read out Proddy's and Harry's too. Okay. So Proddy has put lovely touch from official PDC an amazing make a wish for Elliot Hackney. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Harry has put, mate, where did they find that Hackney bloke? He stinks. <laughs> uh, okay. One sec. I've got some backing you here. I could probably play with just my mouth and I'd still be better than both of them. Chris has said, who? <laughs> it's poo darts. It is poo. Elliot, lad, is not bad for that 14-year-old, to be fair. <laughs> um, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm left a paragraph, not even reading that. Cringy now. Yeah, valid. Yeah, yeah fa valid. Bro thought everyone knew who he was. That's definitely for you. Yeah, that's is this supposed to be funny? Good, Face plant. And the crowd goes mid. They, that's very valid. Look at all these Muppets that don't have a sense of humour. Oh, that was a good one. Sorry. That was a good one, yeah. I wondered why you liked the comment. I, it's because I like bad ones. Because, well. you know what? It's like, like I said, last year, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> then this year, I, don't, I feel like over over 2023, everyone just got so like bitter and, and like... A pair of pricks turning darts into a YouTube channel. <laughs> 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way he's 16. Why have I been brought into it? Shouldn't have got Faith's little puppet a go. He's a silly little runt with a C instead of a R. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I think he means to say C U N T, but he didn't yeah. want to put it. Bro, yeah. just type it. Your mum's not on IG. Relax. Just type the word. What have I got to do with it? You're my silly little runt. <laughs> Uh, there was some... Where, where, where's the ones on Twitter? With a C, not an R. There's one on Twitter, yeah, and they, it was so funny, the replies. There was like one geezer who was like, I inside Kev or something, yeah. He was fucking raging. How funny. Uh, we got Twitter. I don't even know who this melt is. Uh, please keep this guy off stage and give actual people who care about the sport time on stage. Um, shame that tool got a chance to play on the stage. Uh, basically... Twitter's vile, though. Basically, for people that don't know, right, because I have an audience, yeah. uh, it brings eyes to PDC's channels, Sky Sports Darts channels. They do invite people from the crowd up to do that. It happens before the game. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It isn't like a big event where they go, everyone come in, Bazinga's on stage. They don't do that. Yeah. It's just a bit of fun for the people that are already in the venue. So yes, for people that are getting angry, they do invite other people up there. Competition winners a lot. People get to play. I'm not hogging the darts. Don't worry. Mm. And by the way, it's nine darts. Yeah. Um, who else we got? Uh, to be fair, people have uh, people have started backing it now. Please never do this again. Embarrassing. Seen the clips. My grand can throw better. Uh, that's a Sky Sports one. Do, 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 do. 
Yeah, Love Harry tried to get the crowd going. They were having none of it. Yeah, do you know what? I did think that. Oh, it was bad. It was yeah, bad. it didn't look great. Yeah, not a single person in the world cares about this. Uh, and the crowd goes mild. Uh, oh, I think some of them have been deleted, mate, because it is very funny. So I've got I've got a really bad like eye condition, essentially. It flares up. I get like really dry eczema-y skin yeah. around my eyes. It's like psoriasis, but around your eyes. Yeah. It's really fucking unfortunate yeah. because it makes me look like I've been on a three-day bender Hard drugs. on the fucking packet and all sorts. Yeah. It makes me look awful. Yeah. Even now... I can confirm it is just psoriasis. It is, yeah. yeah. And it flares up in the winter, especially around Christmas time. Cold, if yeah. you watch the last Nine Dark Challenge, it's there as well. So it's you not just bad. look like you've just been doing sniffers in the toilet. It looks like I've been on a fucking tear up over New Year. It's awful, which I haven't. Um, but yes. We was watching Barbie New Year. <laughs> exactly. I <I've> No <laughs> packet nothing, involved. <laughs> um, but yeah, very fun time. And again, I want to say, Shane, <laughs> I want to say, come on, Shane. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to say thank you to PDC and uh, all of them lot because they hosted us. Yeah, we had no. We fun. went with Face Brothers. They hosted us then. Uh, and then they hosted us for that and let me play on stage again. So big thank you to you. Uh, so shout out to you lot. Yeah, big up the darts. Yeah. We also went to Winter Wonderland. We checked that off. Mm -hmm. uh, you enjoy Winter Wonderland, don't you? Yeah, I do. Just uh, very funny. We went in, well, I went in disguise and that again. Yeah. You sort of did. No, I did. I matched you. Yeah. You can't say I sort of did because we went in disguise. Ethan just pulls his mask out. He no, goes, it's so, itching my yeah, beard. So for like the and then everyone recognises him. And then I'm like, pull your thing. He's like, I can't. You love no, it. So you love no, it. I don't love it. <laughs> you love it, it. No, for the first two hours we were there. And no one knew. No, I kept it on. But yeah, no one you've knew. You've got to understand, right? Again, with my sensitive skin, I get really itchy. Yeah. And then I end up with dry skin under my beard. And my neck flares up as well. So I've got this fucking snood on, I've got a hoodie on, I'm boiling, <laughs> all to just not be like followed around. Hang on, babe, they want a picture. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, Hang on, babe, they want a picture. That's not paint a bad picture. I don't. But, <laughs> but yeah. at one point, so we saw Jamie there. Jamie JME. was there with all, all the boys, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was there. Um, And can I just say, me and Ethan just got off a ride and he saw like Jamie's whole like group of boys. Posse. Yeah, all the, all the man down were there. Yeah. Ethan didn't tell me. Usually, if you're walking with someone, you tell them when you stop to see someone. I was talking to myself like I'm up here, walking to the next ride on my own. I turned around. <laughs> a girl was then come up to me, Faye, can I get a picture? And I was like, yeah. Mm. Where's Ethan? And I said, and I was looking around, I was like, have you seen Ethan? <laughs> <laughs> I was walking on my there. own and I didn't know where he was. And she went, oh, I think he's over yeah. there. And I was like, oh, thank you. Had a picture with this girl. And I was like, where the hell is he? Yeah, and I then you turned around. But because she was in like a group of puffer jackets, I couldn't see you. Yeah. Well, I knew where you were, so I was going to come. Oh, that's there. all right then. Yeah. I, I wasn't going to lose you. Don't worry. I felt um, like I lost my mum in Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was fun. It was cute. We, we had a lot of fun. We played a lot of games. Yeah. Um, I... Did a very silly thing what? with maths again. Oh, yeah. It's so not the, our there's a suit, dark game there. <laughs> so dart orientated, you know, just, just you know, I'm darts. just ruining darts yeah. for everyone. That's what yeah. I do. It's another sport I've ruined. <laughs> um, so there's a dark game where they've got three, two, one, zero scattered around in this like honeycomb sort of thing. And you have to get a, a six. total of six to win a toy. Faith had a go and got five. I had a go. I whacked one in the three. I whack one in the one, and then I whack one in, in, in a zero. Two. No, because I, because you get five zero bucks, don't you? Two, yeah. yeah. So then I whacked one in a zero, but then I whacked one in a two, which adds up to six. <laughs> However, I just ignored the fact that I hit a one <laughs> and thought I got five. Use that half bollocks. Bollocks and walked away, and then I went, "Oh my god, I hit one as well, didn't I? That's yeah, six. And yeah. then Faith was like, "Go back," and I was like, "I can't f face the embarrassment now of going because boss man's going to tell me no." Yeah. He's a smart man. He's just yeah, had yeah, me yeah. for tenner. Yeah. He's going to say, no, no, tenner again. Yeah. Do it again. Um, so that was an L. But the, the I like the big rides. So when we usually get there, we just smash out all the rides, don't we? Then we have something to eat and then we do whatever else, play the games. It's a good system. I like yeah. the system. So we get on the rides, but then there's a big one, right? Where it loads you up and then you go to the top and it was windy. Mm. It was so windy. So it whacks us at the top. And Faith's up there just jittering around. She doesn't like these big rides anyway. I don't like heights. So then it starts going. It's like a big, just spinny roundy thing. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's a pole with seats like on either hammer, end. Yeah, it's a but it's massive. It's got seats on either end and it spins around, right? Yeah. And then the, the seats also rock and spin as well. Um, 
and Faith was screaming like I've never heard Faith scream in my life. I was fucking Wait, pissing myself. That's on you, fella. <laughs> <laughs> I was pissing myself. I looked over. You weren't even. You didn't even have your eyes open to be screaming. Yeah, we had to do the ride again. I missed it. All. No, we didn't. Let, you wanted to do it again. Yeah, because I missed it. All. Yeah, Faith I've... went. Can we do it again? Because I'll keep my eyes open this time. I was like, you're not gonna. <laughs> I screamed the whole time and it my eyes like, were shut. I missed all of it. I, f I feel for everyone else. It was like, <laughs> right, the screaming was intense, man. <laughs> yes, mental. I was pissing myself. You said it going, ah! Ah! I didn't like it. it I didn't like so being funny. up there. It was so funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Wonderland's one learns cute. Probably do it again next year. Uh, but like, next year we said we'll go during the daytime, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're I a bit we're over going over it, like, we're aren't we? Yeah, we're, we're growing up. We are growing up. We're and growing it's dark up. at like three o'clock now anyway, so... Who's yeah. going to tell him? And we can take Olive next time. Yeah. Yeah. Take Olive. Yeah. She might not get on the rides actually, but... I, was, I did take Olive in December. Yeah, she stink, slept. She didn't care. She probably just she slept. She did not care. <laughs> <laughs> um, talking of uh, big big news. That uh, was a good side in Dory. That, that was, was That was a me, that there. Yeah, that was awful. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I've been in deep trouble. Why? Because I rejected the Misfits offer. <gasps> <gasps> How dare you, man? Just fucking fight, bro. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... I have seen some comments that have said, um, you said that you'd beat Joe up, blah, 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 and now the money's not right, so they think you're too comfortable, and if you're too comfortable, you get slapped up. It is funny. What, seeing, the, seeing everyone's reaction did make me laugh. Yeah. I, Bro, you're not going to fight for no money at the end of the day. Not, like. Yeah, it's, guys. And I know it, everyone was mocking me from saying that I'm oh, me from, from the side and stuff like but that. It is true. Which doesn't bode well with me going like that. <laughs> and, and there being no audio, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Someone should... Uh, that's a great edit, by the way. Yeah. I'm me from, from the side and then just fucking me. Put it like next to the Tommy Fury clip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but listen, I... If we whittle it down to just me... Yeah. I've got side plus, side men, all these things. He's a busy man. I don't need to do it. I don't need to do it. <laughs> it was more like, listen, if the money's right, I'm there. Yeah. I'm there. I'll do it. Yeah. And everyone's allowed to think that they could and beat someone in a fight, by the way. A lot of <laughs> comments as well that are saying, oh, you've got all these things and the money mm. and whatever. So what's the point in doing it? And that just backs the whole point of if the money's not right, why would you yeah. do it? I'm not going to undersell myself, especially yeah. to give someone else their biggest payday they're going to get. Yeah. Ooh, hold that. But, but, Ooh. No, let's be real. If he, yeah. if he fights, I don't know, who's going to fight? No, I'd, I'd fight for Joe's wage, to be fair. Yeah. Well, anyway... Uh, who knows if they Bless come him. back for a different point throughout the year who knows yeah um but yeah cool beans I, I, I feel like you should never take the first offer anyways it's just life isn't it which i didn't yeah yeah um if joe fights then have a good one he may as well just fight swarms at this point swarms 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 swarms, swarms. swarms. um but yeah man fuck it yeah who knows who knows um but anthony taylor do you know you yeah. know him don't you Pretty boy anthony. yeah yeah jeez look at you you know all the taglines in the misfits fighters i've been watching that i've been watching um he is tweeting me like uh i just decided to fry him because i had enough <laughs> i was it was like eight o'clock in the evening i was like fuck this guy bro <laughs> eight is late press parents <laughs> because like, i i think as a character he's hilarious right yeah. but he's also such a fucking beg man yeah which is fine but was this on Twitter? Yeah. I don't know. If yeah, no. Happened. So he tweeted like, how's Bazinga Grand going to decline its first Misfits offer and say blah, 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 blah. Uh, know your worth or whatever. And I was like, bro, if you could suck Mamsie's any harder, yeah, you, I, it'd be in your sternum. Yeah. Um, he was an MMA fighter that fought other trained MMA professionals that has now transitioned to fighting YouTubers yeah. and TikTokers and influencers. And he says he's a company man. You you are, you are just a beg. <laughs> That's what you are. You are just a beg. So I said, misfits say jump, you say how high. Yeah. We're not the same. Yeah. So don't think that I'm you. Yeah. You have to do this. Yeah. Like, you, that's your thing. You have to do this. You have to fight other people. Yeah, it's true. It's not got much. You have to fight TikTok influence because you wasn't good enough to fight actual people. So suck his some more and guess what you'll probably fight another three times this year bravo I look forward to watching them yeah yeah <laughs> but don't think that I'm the same as you yeah yeah no it is true it is true yeah uh, anyway Misfits drama's over yeah. uh, talking about someone that was involved in Misfits uh, Tommy Fury's missus Molly oh, May right. yeah. Molly May has admitted her and Tommy <laughs> don't get intimate adult time she wants to get porked 
Right. She wants to porky poo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wants I, to get... I also did say on the podcast night, do you think this is an overshare? And I, as soon as I read that, I was like, we do not have any right oh, to yeah. comment. Oh, yeah, is it good she's honest life... about all this or do something is... needs to be kept private? Yeah, yeah. Uh, coming from us, do things need to, to be, be fair, kept though, private? Jesus Christ. I think we've reined it in. Over. Yeah, I get texts from my best friend like, Faith, don't say stuff. Yeah, I think, <laughs> uh, even Talia said it before, didn't she? Yeah, Talia was, TMI. <laughs> you guys are rogue. Um, so that's not our place. <laughs> but I think we've reined it in over the... I think so. Over yeah. a little a, a time period um, do, is it because she's honest I suppose if you dress it up as we don't get intimate adult time then you're just letting the world know that we ain't port to noir yeah we, or that we're intermittently porking yeah which it happens bro I think it's normal as parents with the noob especially with the, like that first like it's hard to say though because you don't know how active they was before True, yeah. do you know yeah. what I'm saying so if they've come from a really like high sex type life, like rabbits, yeah. and then they don't have any then it would be a really big deal for them yeah but then but I, 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 it's I do how just important think, you place it I do just think that first year of having a newborn child yeah it's tough, I, I can see Tommy because there's, there's no shade on Molly, Molly here but I can I feel like Tommy just purely from the videos I see online I feel like he's possibly the sec, high sex drive individual you never know I, that's I what know. I feel she might I be a dog she might be roofing in the bedroom yeah she might be going Tommy <laughs> what <laughs> Great, all over my <laughs> fucking chest <laughs> bullseye <laughs> yeah great um yeah yeah no, being a mum's hard man yeah but uh i hope you get your pork soon molly yeah. <laughs> i hope tommy gives you a right rodden yeah i don't know where we were supposed to go with this bit of info <laughs> uh, fair news yeah uh <laughs> is it because she's honest about it sure if you want to be yeah i feel like she she does have well, do, like, mum her vids mum that, vlogs she? didn't she yeah. yeah and she speaks about parenthood and stuff so i feel like that's good makes you relatable i guess yeah, i mean you've done it as well but, like, I, I see when you were doing like your mummy meals and stuff like that yeah people like people that people love that shit but then yeah. olive just stopped eating everything new i gave her and she just wanted pasta <laughs> bro, and just broccoli wants, bro wants pasta and broccoli <laughs> she just wants pesto pasta, pasta. broccoli and peas people like can you bring back mummy menus no she don't eat bro, it's it so funny she, you put peas on a plate she goes peas peas <laughs> but she fucking loves them she goes yeah chucking them yeah. in yeah um but yeah, so pasta and peas and broccoli. Is and the, a bit of cheese, love Yeah, it's, it's the menu at the minute. Um, anyway, moving on. Speaking of dinner. Yeah. Like that segue. Uh, dream dinner party, dead or alive. Yeah. Which six people would you have at a dinner party with the pair of you, making it a party of eight? They can be dead or alive. Right, so let's split it. You get three, I get three. <coughs> yep. Who are you going with first? Um, I'd quite like, who's the old guy who does all the uh, animal stuff? Attenborough, Amber, yeah, David yeah. Attenborough, quite like him. That'd be cool. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I just love well, other people he's, sometimes. He's still with us, isn't he? Yeah. He is, yeah. He's alive. But I was just clarifying because I, I don't think he's got... Uh, no, don't this sounds jinx bad. It, no, 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 he's no, no, no. He's a national no, no. treasure. No, I fucking love him. He's a national but treasure be, that yeah, I couldn't be, remember the name It would be nice to have a dinner with him. I like that. I like that. Exactly. That's a good like, one, yeah. I feel like you could just ask him loads of questions. Yeah, yeah. He's a cute man as well. He's wholesome. What's your favourite animal? Oh, come on a stable day, David. He's a wholesome man. Yeah. Get him to come and look at the wildlife in our garden. Yeah, that would be cute. Um, who else? Or shall I let you have a turn? No, you go. You I go, go again. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm I'll, really struggling. Maybe I'll seat. Me. Maybe I'll seat the dead this time. Who's yeah. died? Uh, Matthew Perry. I would, yeah. 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 I'd actually, I quite like that. Yeah. That's recently a, dead man. That's a good answer. It wasn't my answer. I feel like that's your answer. It's not my answer. I, I, I wouldn't. I don't really need it. I now. was going to say Amy Winehouse, but... <laughs> that sounds bad. I don't really need him there. But I don't... Rest in peace yourself, but yeah, I don't need him yeah, in the no, party. Big Friends fan. I'll have him. Um, but I would have said Amy Winehouse, but she low-key scares me. I don't know if it's the drugs, Well, it depends. But... Are you bringing her back as like... Pre-drugs or... Or like, is she... Is she going bathroom to get on packet? I don't know because some, sometimes dinner. people's auras can make me a bit uncomfortable, and I feel like Energies she is that. that. Yeah, she makes. Okay, me so a bit you're not inviting her then. No, but I'd like to talk to her. But maybe if okay, I have well, someone else pick there, someone else there. It's like talking to a ghost. Pick someone else then. Okay. Um, hmm, who else would I like to speak with? Uh, maybe someone gay. Sure. I mean, I, I'm here for it. Let's go. Like a Louis Spence or something. Louis Spence would be funny. Yeah, this is what I'm He'd saying. be very funny. He'd bring, bring some vibes. vibes yeah, 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 there yeah. you go. No, that's a very Matthew good Matthew Perry, Louis Spence, and David Attenborough. My table's open. What a well, bunch. I'll get the Ouija board from Matthew Perry. No, he's, he, he comes back alive. He comes back. He, no, he, I know, but I was saying if I actually set out the table, oh, right, okay. the Ouija board. Uh, right, my three. 
very cliche, right? But there's a reason for it. I'm going to say... If you name one footballer... No. Boring. No, Drake. Okay. But because he seems really in tune with like all the streaming and YouTube culture. So I'd like to know... You guys would be How much he knows. Bro was watching the Tiki Toki versus John Zerka fight. Yes. Like, yeah. bro, bro's in on it. Like, yeah. he knows people. Do you reckon he knows who you are? I think I would assume he's seen something of the Sidemen, yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's watched me play darts and get a woo. <laughs> 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 I would assume his eyes have, or he's been in a room where something's been on the TV, like even a thumbnail or something. Yeah. I would assume it's come up somewhere. Yeah. Um, but do I, I think he probably knows of JJ. I was going to say, have they ever spoken? No. If not. But I think he, I think out of everyone, he probably knows of JJ yeah, and would be able to say it's, because like he's bet on the Logan Paul fights and shit like that. So yeah. like he must know. Yeah, yeah, he bets yeah. on Jake Paul as well. So he must know that sort of. Yeah. I'm so surprised they've not spoken. I would invite him to the dinner party because one, he's a fucking goat. Yeah. And I know, again, if people go, oh, what about Kendrick and J. Cole? Fucking Drake, man. Yeah. He's the goat. And also, I think I could very easily just chat to him about boxing fights, all this sort of shit, UFC, bets on UFC all the time. Just an easy chat. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice. And he's, yeah, cool. Uh, now, who else? I'm really stuck. Margot Robbie. <laughs> No, no. You'd there's, be nervous stuff. Yeah, there's no need for that. Is there? There's no need for that. We don't need we don't need her at dinner party. Uh hmm. I'm shit at this. Who do I want to have a little Maybe a comedian? Comedian would be good, yeah, comedian. Uh mm. <laughs> Who can I go with? What about Jimmy Carl? No, uh, uh, he's, uh, not my, uh, uh, he's not my he's not my favourite. I'll just invite you, yeah. mate. Yeah. Hugh, Hugh laughs the same as him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I had to pick a comedian. No one's dead yet. I'll tell you up here. Joe Rogan can come. Yeah. Yeah, Joe Rogan can come. And then uh, the fucking, uh, what's the guy? Uh, the space guy. Uh, he's done the podcast with Joe Rogan. Neil deGrasse that. Tyson. I've got Drake. Yep. Joe Rogan and Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. Boom. I so know Drake. I got a bit of like fucking space universe talk yeah and what about got... any women yeah, to be fair we've invited all men even you've invited all men have I yeah you didn't invite a woman well I was going to invite Amy yeah and you sat her off because her energy's off yeah so alright we're going to invite a lady yeah let's both invite a lady let's invite a lady okay so who am I swapping out I'll swap Neil deGrasse Tyson out for a lady uh, I'll swap him out for hmm trying to think of like I'm going Jennifer Aniston Jennifer Aniston is good yeah, yeah I right, suppose that makes relax. sense that makes sense because <laughs> now you've got Matthew Perry and they've they got like a bond already oh god now I'm a third wheel yeah bloody uh, hell um, hmm I just feel like she'd be fun Rihanna really yeah why I feel like she's just good it's like she's been famous since she was really young I've seen her come up I respect it she was the goat at one point. I've never I used to heard wear, you be on I used to wear trend. one of them fucking River Island Rihanna t-shirts of her with the red hair. Bro, I'm telling you now. Think she's Leng? Bruv. Really? Not, oh, this is going to sound deep. Not so, so much anymore. But Now she's had her children. No, 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 no. Wow. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. <laughs> That's not the case. Let's not do that. <laughs> but there was a period of my high school to like call it holy high fucking. school you American bloody hell oh, brother I've just watched Barbie come on now yeah. uh, there was a period of my life where I was rocking the River Island red these were her red hair period yeah 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 holy shit really fuck me I've never heard you being a Rihanna face <sighs> well, that's good we look the same I'm not trying to hear it Miss Ghost from Power Anthony Joshua was fighting the other night she couldn't keep her fucking eyes off the TV <laughs> No, I didn't. No, I told you. <laughs> She's like marvelling at it, like no. this hundred inch Anthony Joshua on the fucking wall. Well, you shouldn't have bought a TV so big. I I found it funny. I wasn't staring at him was. being a godly creature. No, I, I was, told you what, what it was. As. I told you what it was. What so, was it then? His knob was looking yeah, at you. Yeah. So, so apparently... it was so massive and in your face that I found it so funny. And Ethan was like, "What are you so laughing at?" She was looking but at his Ethan knob. Was like, Ethan was like. You do realise they're cups, and I was like, "It's got to be a big cup, then." Of course, it's a big cup. <laughs> Have you seen the size of him? But it was just through his shorts. I don't know. It just was just so in your face. 
Yeah, so FIFA staring at Anthony Joshua's cup. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I, it was staring at me. It was the cup staring I at I merely yeah. glanced at the TV and almost well, knocked listen, my eye out. Uh, you, 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 I look nothing like them and you don't look But like I've them. always said my type is short ginger, well, not really short, but tattooed ginger men. You that. just happen to be short. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm average. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not short, am I? You're not average, you're under average. We've looked this up so many times. Proddy, give us a To be fair, there was one comment I saw as well. It's like, who let <laughs> he's that... He's under who... average and he says he's average all the time. What's UK male average height? Yeah, it's five foot eight. No, it's it's five foot eight. Um, it's five foot nine. It's five foot nine, isn't it? Five, ten. Oh, oh, you are so that's below lie. average. That's gone up then. <laughs> it was 5'9 last time. Some tall babies. And what's the women's UK average? I'm over average, I think. Yeah, you're a beast. Yeah. UK beast. UK beast. You're a UK beast. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, 162 centimetres. So five, that? six, five, yeah. Five, 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 what? Five. That's oh, the really? average? Yeah. Wow, to be you fair, women, women are short. short. Women are short. You're just I'm you are a beast. You are a UK, but you're a UK beast. Yeah. Um, talking of short, there was one comment that made me laugh last night. Uh, I couldn't find it. Just it's like who let that short twat in the pally. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, nice, uh, cool, um, good dinner party. I reckon yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lovely. Uh, right. Would you rather? Go on. Love that. Would you rather take a year off your life and <clears throat> add it onto olives? But you completely skip 2024 and wake up tomorrow having missed a year of seeing her grow up. Um, no. Mine's no too, actually, because I feel like this next year is going to be amazing. Yeah, I was going to say... Um, if you ask me when she she's may, like 30 She odd, may live to like 102 anyway, and then she's got another two years of just being This old. is all relative, isn't it? Because like at the current stage, I don't want to miss this next year at all. Yeah. This next year and is going to be amazing. And there might be like wars, and then I've had to make a live through war. If she was like 28... Yeah. I could easily skip to 29. Yeah. Because like not much is going to change. Yeah. <laughs> this year is no going to be... No offence, Olive. No, no offence, Olive. But like, <laughs> not, not much has changed from me yeah, being no, 27 to 28. Because there's nothing to say. I'm not going to die tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm going to see her grow up. Yeah, exactly. I want to see this next period, I think, of Olive growing up is going to be so... Even now, it's just so yeah, funny, Yeah, she's bro. funny. Like, she waits having on it. Hey. And she said mummy this morning, didn't she? did say she? mummy, yeah. Oh my God, she's not said mummy ever. She said and mummy then she mummy. looks at me and she went, hmm... Mummy. Yeah, she's getting good. <laughs> she's getting really good with her words. She, 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 she says certain ones yeah. that she actually does properly. I know. It's like, you just said, Bobby, give me a cuddle. Yeah. She, ah. uh, she, she's, yeah, so that, I would not, I would not take that deal. No. Sorry, I Olive. Yeah. I've, I've, I've left your life as it is. I'm not yeah. giving you any added bonus. And as, I, I didn't get a fucking bonus at any point, did I? You got fucking, uh, no, just live your life, bruv. <laughs> didn't get no bonus year. <laughs> um, Her dad, everyone. Nice. Yeah. All right. Would you rather imagine a scenario where you could switch lives with each other for a week? Would you rather experience each other's past for that week, gaining insights into childhood memories and experiences, or fast forward to see a glimpse of each other's future? God, no. What, my dad leaving? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you talking about? What, what depressing what? childhood? I don't want to go back to yours. Oh, thanks. Sorry. <laughs> you um, got burned with a kettle. No, not burn with a kettle. You broke your leg? No, I... Uh, or your ankle? I pulled uh, a boy... Like, a pot oh, yeah, of no, he wasn't abused. No, yeah, you mean something like I was fucking battered at home. <laughs> no. no, yeah, I... They were making gravy. You've got a skin graft. Yeah, I've got a skin graft. They were making gravy and I grabbed the jug off the side. Yeah. Like Olive would do now where she just does that. I pulled it down. Yeah. And it melted my skin. Yeah. yeah. Um, would you go back to my childhood? No. Oh. No, I I, I've got no interest in horses and that. So I like, didn't really have... Horses in my childhood. Well, what did you do in your childhood? Play games, play out on the streets. You tried to dress friends. your brother up as a little girl. I didn't try to, I did. You did and then that, my yeah. mum told me off. Yeah, so they've got tied off cross dressing her brother. Quite, at like, how old is he? It was quite sadistic, really, because. She made him do it. He didn't want to do it. Yeah, he did say no, but I knew all my older brothers and his friends were coming round. <laughs> I think I wanted to embarrass him. That's bad. Yeah, no, it so is. So she got, she made him. She she's essentially <laughs> got him in a corner. I was only like eight, by the way. And said, "Dress up like a girl now." No, I dressed him up. Gave yeah. him styling tips at least, but I put him in a long purple skirt. And my mum told me off. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to go to your past. <laughs> You're a bully. That's what you. I was are. only eight. You're eight year old bully. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I would go to your future, and see if you're still with me. Well, that's sad, isn't it? <laughs> that doesn't pray the fucking comments any good, does it? 
if you're sitting here thinking, oh, does she love me? <laughs> I told you, buy me a ring and I ain't going nowhere. If you waste me time, I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, but yeah, fast forward, what would your future be like? I suppose you'd just be... Bearing yeah. children. Actually, yeah, take that, yeah, take that bit for me. You just have the hardest week. Oh, of my so I've got to choose the hardest week. Yeah, just no, to know. No, I want a breeze of a week. I want a nice week. A nice week. Yeah. Fine. I'd. I, I'm telling you now. If I was a, if I was a woman for a day, I'd just fuck myself all day. Fuck yourself. <laughs> I would fuck myself. To be fair, all you day. should do it yourself. Bro, I would fuck myself all day. Yeah. Orgasms non- come quick. You, when could, you, do it you yourself. could. So you could not get me off off it. Mm. I'd be <laughs> fucking over and over again. I'd be a whore. <laughs> Would you just be fucked by so many men? Everyone could get it. <laughs> I'd go to the shop and say, boss, can I have the Mars bar? Just fuck me. <laughs> you wouldn't be fucked by a boss man? Yes, man. Anyone can get it. No, I'd probably have standards. I'm quite picky. I don't think you would. No, I'm quite picky. Um, as long as they're a big man, you'd do it. Big burly man. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> anyway, moving on from that uh, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, 2024 predictions. TikTok has been full of people making predictions for the year ahead. Uh, what do you guys think of some of these? So like I said, Adam, bro. Yeah. Pop his clogs. I love him. That could be on my bingo list. Yeah, it's not very nice. I know it's not very nice, but hey, it, these things happen. You're just picking on an old person at this point and saying there's a chance that an old person bruv. might die. That's not a very good odd, is it? <laughs> Don't make it out like that. But it's just... All right, anyway, this is what TikTok's been saying. <laughs> uh, there will be a big scandal involving the royal family. That happens like what? every fucking year, bruv. Elon Musk will sell X and will go back to being Twitter. As he should. It's fucking shit. Uh, is... I didn't have Twitter, but I was more inclined. Well, I like how on, on like internet and stuff, you, it is still twitter.com, uh, but like the app and stuff is X. I don't think so. I, I actually quite like it. I, it's still my favorite platform. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I'm on it every day. I like Twitter. Twitter's good. Um, but I still call it Twitter. I don't call it X. What was so crazy at the darts last night, there was a, a boomer behind me and it... Uh, Someone took a picture or something and he was like, yeah, that'll end up on X later. And I was like... First person you ever heard call it X. Bro! Yeah. I've never heard someone go, oh, you're going to post that on X. He was like, yeah, I'm on that X and Instagram, all that. I was like, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Holy shit, fair dues. Uh, Ariana Grande will get pregnant. I don't mind. Oh, if you seen the man she's with? Who, uh, is she in like a... Has she been with him long enough? So what she did, this man that she's with, I don't know his name. He was with his old um, partner who he'd been with since school. They just... The mother had just delivered their newborn newborn child. He did a um, a show with Ariana Grande. What's it called? Like in theatre, I think. Something like that. Yeah. Um, and then he left her for Ariana Grande. A kids are called Dalton Gomez. Bro, look what it looks like. No hate, you can look like what you want to look like. It's just not who I pictured Dalton Ariana with. Gomez. To be fair though, she was with Pete Davidson for a while as well. Pete's, I think Pete's quite hot. Oh, he looks quite like Pete Davidson a little bit. He's just a more, he's a more cleaned up version of Pete. What picture are you looking at? Show me. Yeah. Type it now, type in Spongebob. Uh, uh, no, no, that's not him. That's uh, not him. That's who she's with and engaged Show to. me. That's no, his... it's not. That's her ex-partner. No, it's not. What? No. Right. Yeah. yeah. I watched the reaction. No, it's a small ginger man, Ethan. Is it? Yeah. That's not him. Um, Let me go on TikTok. Oh, it, they divorced in 2023. There you Sorry. Go. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't say who. I think it's Ethan Slater. Is that right? Let me have a look. Yeah. Yep. Ethan Slater. Okay. Let's yeah. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Fair dudes. <laughs> And he's done like all weird. Maybe he's got like a massive baby cock. kink. Yeah, he's got maybe he's got like a humongous. But look, cock. I mean, fair dudes, listen, love beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <clears throat> oh, I don't know about that. He dipped his old school sweetheart, who's just had their first porn for like Ariana, Ariana Grande. Grande. He's a gold digger. I wonder what his missus looked like before though. She was alright. There's been pictures of her. She's not anything great or bad. Yeah, just a woman. Right. Maya, Jammer and Stormzy will get engaged. That one I could see. Well, happening. one of us should really, shouldn't we? Are you putting us on the same par as Maya, Jammer and Stormzy? Absolutely. Because guess what? We are not. We got the same they are, they are worshipped. We've got the same. <laughs> they are worshipped. They are like the UK's Beyonce and Jay-Z. Jay-Z. No, they, they are. Really People are. ship them. I rate it though. I, I, I feel like because they've had their break and got back together, you may as well just commit well, I mean, Allegedly, again, he wronged her in the worst way. What did he do? Apparently, allegedly, he cheated on her way back when. 
Oh. When they was together initially. Yeah. That's why she split up with him. Oh. And didn't talk for ages. But oh, Mal, why are you back with him then? No, stop, stop. Don't do that. Because oh. they are the goats. They are, uh, this... But he cheated. Why do we get hated on? We're yet to cheat or anything. We just come on the podcast and speak and everyone hates you, you remind me of, you, you're that person in class like... Someone will be talking over there and then you get caught for talking and you go, but why are you shouting at me when they've been talking the whole time? <laughs> that's actually, that's, that's, that's you. incorrect. No, I was actually really shy at school. I didn't say No, anything. but that, that is your energy. You're like just then like, why are we getting hate? We're not. <laughs> yeah, but it's true. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can see that happening. I, uh, she got, she got, I even see the, you know, the Randy split. He's announced it on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the comments I see on TikTok are, what and yet Ethan and Faith are still together. I'm like, Bro, what that. are we getting Bro, I see that. And I see people going, uh, first Chris and Shannon, Will and Mia, now Law and Randy. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's Ethan and Faith next. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading it. I know, bro, I'm, I'm, like, I'm in dismay at what I'm seeing. Bro, I just opened the TikTok like, oh, this will be a sad one. Hopefully for the faith. Like, bro, what the fuck am I doing They are sat now? there hoping. I know. They are saying, I hope it's them. <laughs> We've not even done anything. No, we're just here, bro. Oh, this one's interesting. One of the side men will get into a sex tape scandal. Oh, oh. I don't know about that. It's not you, because I've asked to film sex and Ethan said no. <laughs> I, just don't, I don't want to run that risk. Ethan says I don't want to watch that. And back. also, yeah, I don't want to watch myself <laughs> pork. I think it will be mortifying. Yeah, like just and by the way, uh, so like, you asked you asked when I was still rotund and and saggy with no skin. I think if I got into decent Nick, I'd be all right with it. So would you film a sex tape now? Give me another six weeks. Okay. And maybe. Maybe it'd be us. Because again... Maybe like, me and Ethan will watch it back and be like, yeah. actually, we look this quite good. Should we leak it? Good. Yeah, yeah. You'll leak this. <laughs> uh, can we charge? Yeah. Um, yeah. And also, remember what I said to you the other day? When I I saw a tweet a couple of years ago, and it was on... Uh, can I say this? It was on Black Twitter. Black Twitter is really funny. I actually rate Black Twitter. I, I'm a big fan of their tweets. But they tweeted saying, um, white people having sex look like Christmas turkey. Mm. And it... They do. Mm. The man is on top all hunched and then the legs are on the side. We look like Christmas turkeys having sex. No. I don't want to... Again, so I live life through these eyes here, yeah? I don't know what I look like doing things. Yeah. Until it's filmed. <laughs> I don't know if I want to watch myself have sex. I just thought it would be funny. More it would than be anything. funny. I don't think we're like hot. Mm, I don't... I don't <laughs> think, <laughs> I think it would be fucking mortifying. Yeah. No, but it's I think so, that's funny. So nasty. I think that's funny, all one minute thirty of it. <laughs> <laughs> Not even boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whack a gif up. Yeah. Um, oh my god, David Attenborough will pass away. Did you add that on here? No. No. Oh, so people were just thinking that anyway. Bro's just picking on old people. No, I'm not. TikTok is. He's like 97. Yeah, bro's. bro's no, pushing. let him. He'll go to 100. Yeah, he's a good man. Yeah, I he's gonna go to 100. He's a good man. Good men live to 100. And life always is on his side. Exactly. Um. Timothy Chalamet and Carly Jenner have a baby. They may as well. Fair day. She's already got... <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Two? Baby daddies, Two now? yeah. Two? I don't know. Uh, One Direction reunite for a charity event. That'd be cool. Oh, I'd love that. I'd go. You would, yeah. yeah. You'd like One tickets, Direction. I'd uh, <laughs> Birthday present. <laughs> yeah. uh, another Sidemen baby or engagement. Ooh. <gasps> Who da, knows, da, mate? Da. Uh, um, I saw people in the comments of the last podcast say that we're having a baby because I cried. No. Oh, I'm bro. just upset oh, yeah. and stressed. Yeah, I said to Faith, no, you was reliving the trauma. Of, yeah, of but that. women yeah. aren't allowed to be stressed no. without being on their period or pregnant. No. However, uh, remember I said to you the other day, the feminists, have, I've, they've, they've they found, like me. They yeah, found me. They, they hate me now. The misogynist that is Ethan. Don't, don't say that. <laughs> but anyway, they've, they've found me and certain clips of the podcast. They fucking hate me. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen a couple since. I was like... They're filming a podcast and his missus crying. He's just going, bro, why are you crying? <laughs> that like, is true, I can though. think of being with him. That's fucking disgusting. Yeah. That you if we really was in any other me, scenario, right, not here, I probably would have been like, oh, that's cute. What, keep them crying? No, like, no. I would have. I but we're sat here filming something. I was like, why are you crying? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they hate me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who knows? Yeah. Well, I, I I said in my group chat to the boys, I think I, I I'll be a, a, a at very least an engaged man this year. Yay! I'm so, fucking so a bit more excited. 
Well, I just don't know with you. What do you mean you just don't know with me? That's good. I don't know because I, I, I said it's got to be before March, haven't I? Mm. But then I don't think you're going to do that. So what are you going to do on like December 24th? No, no there's that's more, There's more that's days final. of the year than that. Give me a minute. 30th. No, is it? No. I think anything. No. But I just, just what month would you do it in then? What month do you think you'd do it in? April 1st. No. <laughs> April 1st. April Fool's. And it's actually a Harry... I'll sign the prenup on April Fool's then. <laughs> actually, uh, the prenups are fucking pointless in this country. There's there's no point in them. Um, Northwest releases her first song. She's actually been... Oh, really? Yeah, she's been spitting bars in it. Oh. No, she hasn't, but people are predicting that. Oh. We're still not Idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, any predictions of your own? What do you think will happen in 2024? Um, I'd like to think more babies for us. Yeah. Hopefully. You're, um, you're, on, you're on a bun in the oven. Yeah, I do. Are you ready to relive the carrying of a child? I feel like I've forgotten the trauma. I can only bit. imagine that being so... Do you know what, actually? I'd like to go to a past week where she was in your stomach and big. I want to know, because I'm never going to know that feeling. Yeah, bro, you just no, was I'll, not okay, attracted to me. I though. would choose I would choose to flash back to like seven, not the nine months or eight months, because you just bloomed. You, you was massive. You, can I just say your sexual attractiveness? Bro, didn't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> but you, I think I'm over that You're now. one of them boys where it's like some, no. some men love a pregnant woman because yeah. they just think, wow, that is so womanly. You're birthing children. And then you get ones like Ethan that like, uh. I wasn't. I didn't never said. Uh. <laughs> never said that. But I think I'm over that now. I would choose to go back to about seven months of you being pregnant and just want to know, when she's kicking and shit. I want to know how that feels. It must be mental. I just remember one part that I didn't like of being pregnant is when because she was breached the whole time. At one point, I felt her go halfway twist. to twist. Bro, I didn't like that. Yeah. See, I want to know. And then she went like. back, but it was like a whole big. Because she's like, in, I'm such a small woman. Under yeah. these baggy clothes, right? I'm such a... You are tiny, yeah. And even then, I was even smaller then, God. But um, yeah, it's so odd. Mm. So odd. But even now, I get phantom kicks. Yeah. Which are phantom kicks when you feel like you've still got a baby and you can feel all your... Feel like you're being kicked, but you're not being kicked. Mm. Well, uh, what do I predict is going to happen? I predict that. Yeah, I predict a riot. I predict that West Ham will finish seventh That's or above so in the boring. Premier League. That's so I boring. I predict that Man City walk the league again. I think JJ gets engaged. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a big one. I think JJ's like, I don't really speak to him or anything, but I think he's about family life now. I feel like he's done his boxing, he's, he's done his singing. I feel like he wants family life now. So I think at least he gets engaged. Fair dudes. I don't think he's popping a child anytime soon. Do you not? No. Nah. No. I do think he engaged though. Because he wrote a song about her. Uh, oh. And that's his person really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, all right. Well, that wraps up the first podcast of the year. Jeez. Growing Pains is off to a flying start. Uh, you guys know what to do. Follow the Instagram at Growing Pains Insta. Join the Doghouse channel. Faith is still sending memes. And I found the ginger man emoji. I found it. Because him. all everyone ever does when I post in there is react with the fucking ginger man emoji. I don't get any other reaction. It's just ginger man, ginger man, ginger, 600 ginger men reacting. <laughs> Bro, get cyber bullied. Bro, get ginger man, everything I say. <laughs> it's funny. Though. It's quite funny though, so I'll give you that. Um, join that channel through the Instagram. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like the video. Uh, rate us five stars on Spotify or wherever you're listening. Yeah. And New Year, so I only hate when you have something new to moan about. And uh, yeah, I want to say to you guys, I uh, wish you a happy and prosperous 2024. Uh, I hope you all have a blinder and I wish you all very well. Bye. <laughs>